We woke up to some bitterly cold temperatures today. I'm hoping there's some relief on the way. We do have some relief, but there's a bit of a trade-off with it. Okay. Uh, with the milder temperatures, and I say milder, back in the 30s, <laughs> yeah. uh, we have that increased chance for both snow and rain. Okay. And with it, things could get a little bit messy around here as we head into, I think Wednesday is going to be the day that we have to keep a close eye on. Tuesday, it's going to be a dry start, but later this time tomorrow, Tuesday, snow does return. There could be some rain further south near Jackson, closer to the state line. Wednesday, it's going to start off as rain, as it's going to be a milder start, but then it will change over to snow. And then that chance for snow stays with us for a few days, even into the early part of next week as a fairly active pattern returns. You'll see it coming up in the seven day. Outside right now, things are calm and we just lost. Oh, that's back. There we go. Uh, we do have uh, mainly clear skies right now. Those mainly clear skies are allowing us to cool off a little bit more, but more clouds are expected to return overnight tonight. Single digits across most of the region with the exception there in Jackson. Not much of a wind, but just a slight breeze in some spots giving us wind chills down below zero in some spots. So once again, one more night of a bitter cold. There's the clouds back out near Chicago. Those are going to be on the increase the next couple of hours and will be with us for a couple of days. We've got some snow falling in parts of Wisconsin, Minnesota and North Dakota, but it's really the system that's in the Rockies that's going to be giving us that better chance for some snow and some rain come Tuesday and Wednesday. Now with that system moving in, the National Weather Service has a winter weather advisory for most of mid-Michigan 1 p.m. tomorrow through 1 a.m. Wednesday as again we could see some increasing chances for some snow. You'll see it here on future track mainly clear skies to start but overnight tonight clouds on the increase once those clouds move in temperatures don't move a whole lot overnight tonight Tuesday should be a dry start at 7 a.m. Your morning commute should be OK, but coming home could be a different story. Here's 4 p.m. and you can see the model indicating maybe some snow starting to fall. And there is the chance that as the precipitation increases, here's 6 p.m. You can see there is the potential for maybe some freezing rain or freezing drizzle further south, mainly along and south of I-94. I think most of what falls will be snow, but there could be some of that freezing action that will mix in as well. As we progress overnight, here's 10 p.m. You can see snow still falling for most of us, but that rain snow line begins to creep further north and that will continue overnight into the daybreak hours on Wednesday. Here's 7 a.m. Wednesday morning likely going to be a soggy start to the day and with temperatures close to freezing, there is a bit of a concern for some icy spots as we progress towards lunchtime. Here's 11 a.m. You can see that system really begins to exit, but as that cold air filters in, we could see some of that rain change over to snow. The weather, of course, being quite impactful over the coming days. Tonight, the bitter cold. Tomorrow, uh, the second half of the day, we'll see that snow return and then a rain-snow mixture on Wednesday. Tonight, we're down close to zero. I think that we'll stay just above it, but wind chills will drop well below it with clouds on the increase. Snow returns later Tuesday, and that change over to rain overnight into Wednesday, and then change back to snow. Then a fairly active pattern returns, as does the bitter cold as we head <laughs> into the weekend. All right, no escaping it, huh? Yeah, a little bit. But, <laughs> but then much. it comes right back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Brett, thank you.